So we're looking at what is called complementary events. And complementary events are basically events that are the opposite of each other. Okay, for instance, the complement of getting heads on a coin is getting tails. They're the opposite of each other. Now, be, there is a little bit more to it than that. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll write, we'll, we'll look at some terminology. So we've got the probability of getting heads. The complement of that is actually written like so. The complement of something is basically the same thing except with a line above it. Now this is saying, this is actually saying probability of getting heads, right? This one is its complement, which is really saying probability of not getting heads. All right, so when you talk about complement, it's really putting the word not in there. And if you think about it, the probability of not getting heads is exactly the same as saying the probability of getting tails. Okay, so let's look at it from the perspective of a dice. Let's say we're talking about the probability of getting one on a dice, right? If we look at its complement, the complement of that would be one with a line above it. And its complement is saying the probability of not getting a one as opposed to getting a one. Now, what are we talking about when we say the probability of not getting a one? Well, we're talking about the probability of getting all the other numbers, two, three, four, five, or six. So the complement of the probability of getting a one is either the one with the line above it, not getting a one, or it's the probability of getting all the other numbers. And what you'll notice is, here's some terminology, when you have the probability of an event, and you add it to the probability of its complement, it will equal 1. For example, if we look at the probability of getting 1, that's 1 over 6. And the probability of not getting 1, which we mentioned were the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, that's got a probability of 5 over 6. And when you add those two fractions up, it's 6 over 6, or 1. 